Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Anastasia. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you enjoy it. Now I've already done a three healthy breakfast idea video. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. But today we are doing a lunch version of that. Just so you all know, I didn't go out to the supermarket and buy all of these ingredients especially. I purely just looked into my fridge and saw what I had and conceived these dishes based around that because I purely hate food waste. I don't let anything rot or go off. I try to use everything. So that's what I'm gonna do today. So one of my fan favorites on Instagram is my egg bake. It was one of the first posts that I made and everyone absolutely loved it and asked me how to make it. So that's what I'm gonna make first. So these are just some of the leftover veggies I've got in my fridge. I've got some green beans, some carrots, some tomatoes and I'm gonna add some ham this is just the leftover ham I have in my fridge and some cheese now I would normally use lighter versions of cheese but this is what I have I'm just not gonna add as much of it in there but nevertheless it'll taste great and I just have some large uh, free-range eggs as well now I did use a different tin it was wider and less it was like it wasn't as tall but I recently moved houses so this is what we're gonna work with today it looks like a banana loaf um, tin but it'll still work so let's see how that turns out so the first thing that I always do is use my one cal spray this time I've got sunflower oil and I'm just going to spray this tray because we are, you really don't know how easy it is to make this egg bake until you see it done. Because we're just going to pop all of the veggies in. And we don't have to saute anything. Now, I've just turned my oven on to preheat whilst I cut all of these veggies up. Try and cut them relatively small so that everything cooks quicker. I mean, I'm, I'm a very impatient cook, um, which is probably not the best. I just ramp up the oven on the highest heat and um, cut everything as small as I possibly can. But once you've cut it up, just throw it in and you'll see how easy it is to make, honestly. Now you do also have to remember that you may think I'm putting in a lot of carrots in here, but they have so much water in them that they will shrink a lot. Probably about 30%, like a third of them will shrink. So it actually won't even end up being that much. I think you can tell at this stage that I'm not weighing anything out, I'm not measuring anything out because I just want a good proportion of green beans to carrots just so it looks pretty as well and what I'm in the mood for that day. So what I'm doing here is I'm just topping and tailing all of these green beans just to get the little little tails off and again just popping them right in with the carrots you don't have to pre-cook anything it's so easy. What I've got next is tomatoes. I'm quartering some of them, halving some of them, just depending on their size. And these are gonna roast beautifully in the oven as well and get that nice, sweet, acidic flavor. So that's all of my veggies prepped. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna give it a final spray at the top and I'm gonna season it so it can go into the oven to roast. So I'm just putting in some freshly ground black pepper, some salt, and you can use whatever seasonings you like here. I'm just gonna use a herb. I've got oregano in the, in the cupboard, so I'm just gonna sprinkle a bit of that on top, and smoked paprika. You can't go wrong with smoked paprika. It tastes so good. So a little bit of that on there, and then pop it into the oven to roast and once it's all golden brown I'll show you what to do next.
Now the next thing that I'm going to have to do is crack in all of my eggs and whisk them up. Now, like I said before, always crack them on a surface just so it prevents your eggshells getting in. Now I'm using four eggs, two per person. I'm cooking for two today. Obviously you can change the recipe depending on how many you're cooking for. And we're just going to whisk them up and season them. I'm just going to use a fork. I tend to break the yolks first and then slightly tilt it on its side and whisk it until it's all combined. Now there's so much debate about when to season your eggs, but because they're going in the oven, I am going to season them now because they're going to come out golden brown and delicious either way. Just some simple salt and pepper. That's all that I'm putting in here. Give it a mix, and once your vegetables are about three quarters of the way done, we're gonna pour it in. Next thing I'm gonna prepare is my grated cheese. So I just have a simple grater here, and I'm just gonna grate this amount of cheese. Probably is a little too much, so I'll see how much we have. I just want it to coat the top of it and give it a nice, almost cheesy crust. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to use all of it, but that's okay, because I'm only going to have half of the bake anyway. And cheese is a good source of fat, and I love cheese, so it's okay. Okay, this bit I'm just going to snack on. Of course, this next part is totally optional, but I'm not vegetarian, so I'm going to put in a few slices of ham as well, and just cut it up into bite-sized pieces. All done. Now I have just to wait for my veggies. Okay, so I've just pulled this from the oven. The tomatoes are roasting nicely, and this is when I'm going to pour in my eggs. No! I was looking at the camera. I will. And my cheese and ham. Put it in and sprinkle the cheese everywhere. I'm also going to mix this in a little bit just because I want pockets of gooey cheese everywhere, even in the inside, not just on top. So I'm taking it out of the oven and this is what it looks like. It's all lovely and caramelized. It's cooked all the way through. Let's dig in. Okay, so I do want to cut this in front of you, just so you see what you are getting. I'm just going to cut this in half. I can definitely tell it's cooked all the way through. Another reason I picked this tin is because the spatula fits perfectly into it. Look at that. Wow. It's caramelized. I can see pockets of cheese in there as well. It's cooked all the way through. It's still steaming. Now all you've got to do is enjoy. I personally really enjoyed my lunch and I hope that you do as well when you make this. And I want to see all of these different versions out there with whatever leftover veggies you have. So make sure to tag my Instagram account, The Russian Twist. And if you're not already following it, go check out the extra goodies that I post on there as well. I really want to know guys what recipes you want to see next. So let me know in the comments below. Sorry that right. <laughs> Anyways. Um, make sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. I'll see you all soon and have a great day.